In today's video, we're looking at fractional indices. And what does that mean? Well, let's actually look at a few examples to get us going. In our first example, we've got 8 to the 2 over 3. I'm really bad at pronouncing them or saying them properly, so sorry about that. So the first thing you want to do is sort out this denominator here. And because it's a 3, it's telling you to cube root. So we need to cube root A. And 8 cube root is 2 because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, which is why I'm putting a 2 there. And then next up, we sort this out, and that means to square your answer. So we just need to do 2 squared, and that answer is obviously 2 times 2, which is 4. So your final answer here is 4. In our next example, we've got 25 to the 3 over 2. So we sort out the denominator first of all. It's a 2, which means we have to square root. So the square root of 25 is 5. The reason being is that 5 times 5 is 25. Then we obey the 3, which means to cube. So in order to cube, we do 5 times 5 times 5 to get a value which is 125, and 125 is our final answer. Now we're looking at 81 to the 3 over 4. So the 4 means that we need to find the fourth root. So what number do we multiply by itself 4 times to get to 81? Well, that is 3. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, because 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. Once we've done that, we now need to do 3 cubed, so that's 3 times 3 times 3, which equals 27, so our final answer here is 27. Now we need to look at negative powers and reciprocals when referring to indices, and here is your general rule which will be obeyed for all negative powers, and this rule may be used as long as x doesn't equal 0. Now, if you don't like what I'm saying or drawing, let's dive straight into some examples so we can see that it actually works. So the question will look something like this, which is work out the value of 2 to the minus 3. And as we look at the number, we can see it's in the same notation as the equation. So this looks extremely similar to this. So now we need to do this to 2 to the minus 3. So I'm simply going to write 1 over, well, x in this case is 2. And then we have an n, which is now positive. So it becomes 1 over 2 to the 3. And then you simply keep that 1 the same. And you multiply 2 by itself 3 times because it's been cubed. And that, therefore, is 1 over 8. Now we're working out the value of 10 to the minus 4. So I'm going to write it out in exactly the same form as before. So 10 to the minus 4 equals... And we're going to write 1 over, well, what is x? Well, according to our rule here, it is 10. What is n? Well, it's the small number up here, but made positive. So I'm just going to write that as 4 here. And then 10 to the 4 just means 10 multiplied by itself 4 times, giving us a value of 1 over 10,000. In our last example, we're working out the value of 6 to the minus 2. So let's work it out in exactly the same way again. 1 over x, which is 6, and n is 2, and we've got to make it positive. So it's basically 6 squared. So 1 over 6 squared, so 6 times 6 is 36. And that is our final answer. I hope you found this video helpful, guys. I'll be back very soon. Don't forget to sub if you haven't already. Bye.